It's time to expose a romance scammer once and for all. Romance and dating scams, one of the most vile and prevalent scams in our world today. They've stolen over $200 million from Americans in 2019 alone. We're diving into the dating pool right now and are gonna show you exactly how these romance scammers gain your trust, deceive you, and rob you of everything they can. I initially contacted the girl, girl. That's when everything took a really dark turn. And witness a Trilogy Media exclusive testimony from a victim who fell into a dating scam that turned into a trap of life or death. Once I was there, the park was abnormally warm. It was so quiet. When I chambered the round, stop, stop, stop. I myself have opened a profile on Plenty of Fish. I'm going in as Ryan Benson, 22-year-old editor and movie fanatic from Los Angeles. For the sake of this experiment, I have paid for their service of premium features. At no point in this process have I made the first contact. I did not swipe, like, or message anybody without them contacting me first. My profile is simply innocent bait. Let's see who swims my way. Watch to the end of this video for a shocking ending that will blow your mind. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to our channel here at Trilogy Media and make sure to hit that notification bell. Our hunt for evil is growing, and with your help and support, we will never give up. It's a dangerous world. Be careful out there. You're watching Fraud Hunters. I love you, baby. Let's do this. It was 2017. I initially contacted the girl, girl, plenty of fish, POF, and hey, do you want to chat? Something like that. I don't remember my first message. Something along the lines of, hey, you're really pretty. I like your smile. Would you like to talk? I'm Dustin. You know, I always leave my name at the end of my message. She was very persistent and wanting to, wanting to text after about like two days of normal conversation everything just went silent on their end nothing explicit was sent to this woman nothing wrong was done the woman's father had uh, somehow gotten hold of her phone or something they got into this big huge arg argument and they just wanted money two thousand dollars in reprehensions and compensation wired via western union to drop all charges and the initial charges were soliciting sex to a minor i then this, this guy just started texting me and texting me and texting me back and forth and back and forth and it got to the point that i was so stressed out that i was just shaking literally like this my teeth were chattering and once i got that text it was implanted in me. I'm not going down like this. 2013, the missing case profile of me. I got very, very sick. I got meningoencephalitis secondary to BBV, which is Epstein-Barr virus. Meningitis B got to my brain. I'm on a lot of medications. When I got home, uh, I wasn't wasn't right in the head. Uh, I still wasn't wanting to speak to this person. I wasn't right in the head in the moment, especially when I guess right right as I got out of the hospital. I left this house around eleven at night. I ran off. I took very few clothes. I took my bike and I just left. My first girlfriend was named Caitlin. And Caitlin, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I really am. I wound up with one memory, finding my way to her dad's house because we would sometimes go there after school. I was dehydrated. I was at the point of just 
almost fainting. Her dad willingly took me in, called my dad, and they came and got me. I have been single since 2013. That I cannot be outside of the house without a parent or guardian, and in my case, just my parents. Because I am a liability, because I have seizures, anxiety, depression, And I even remember the window I left. Uh, sorry. Um, cigarettes. That was my initial drive. And this, again, kicks back to high school. In high school, right after I broke up with her, or she broke up with me, I got addicted to nicotine. That was my whole goal when I left this house. Was to just go get some cigarettes, come home, whatever. I just couldn't wrap my brain around how trivial a fact of leaving everything that I had behind for $5. I have very few people in my life. Outside of family, I can put them on one hand. Did you ever speak to her on the phone? No. Even though I tried, I would, I would try and say, "Hey, would you like, would you like me to call?" She was like, "No, I'm, I'm headed to bed, something like that," or "No, I'm just getting ready to shower," or, or something. She always came up with a reason. So you, you to this day have no way of knowing if she was even real. That's right. I have no clue, and I highly doubt it. just under, under Ryan, so I just took mm -hmm. this photo. So it's a little dark, so you can't really see me, but it's still me, you know? So I opened an account, I even paid for their premium thing uh, so that I could interact with people. And But I didn't reach out to anybody. I wanted to just have my profile there and just see if anyone came up to me. Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna search for scams, I'm just gonna wait and see if they approach me and then I'll bait them. Within two hours, I had, I didn't actually go and swipe anybody. I didn't mm -hmm. like anybody, I just put the profile up and left it there. 20 minutes later, she says, me, question mark. And I say, absolutely. What area are you in? And she says, I have a meat fee. Meat fee? A what meat fee? fee, but also a meat fee. That was a joke. A meat fee, fee. a fee to meat. Okay. A meat oh, meat fee. I can come to you, where do you want to meet? And so I just played dumb. I said, a meat fee? She's like, yeah. I said, what do you mean? And then she didn't reply. I said, you still there? She said, yes. You have to pay me before you meet me. I charge $200 and we can meet up and do anything nasty thing you want to do. So I said, what else do I get for paying for you, for paying you? And she said, package A, $100 for one night. We can do whatever you want to do. 100? Package B, $200. We can do whatever you want, plus using props. Whoa, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <beautiful. laughs> so I replied, do you know garbage style? Or is that extra? <laughs> Get this. She said, that would be an extra $5. <laughs> no! What? 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 
Uh, you didn't ask what it was. Uh, I said, uh, how do you know, how do I know you're real? And she said, I'm real, baby, as real as it gets. And then I asked her, can you prove it, baby? So she asked me for my number. I gave her my text now number, mm -hmm. okay? And then I said, how do I pay you? She gave me her cash app. She wants cash app. Send it to that one. Are you going to send it? I said, I'm trying to send it. Uh, cat, and, okay, so then she texted me immediately and she sent me this photo. I'm real, baby. I said, send me another picture. Hold up three fingers so I know you're real. And then she kept saying, I, I did, I sent it, but she didn't send it. She never sent another photo after that. She just refused to acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Shocking. The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. Oh. number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. Wow. I'm yeah. dating a uh, prostitute scammer right now and I'm trying to get on the phone. Uh -huh. I'll explain it in a second. Hello? Hi, this is Cash App. To accept a payment of $200, please press zero. To verify you are the correct recipient, please state your name after the tone. Thank you. Your payment has now processed. Goodbye. Wow. Wow. I can't believe she actually answered the phone. <laughs> she fucking fall for that. It's not a 50 year old dude. It is a woman. Her name wasn't Diana though. Wow. I'm gonna call back as Cash App again and see if I can get more information. I actually wasn't expecting her to answer the phone. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, I'm using a female voice changer thanks to Spoof Card. Uh, yes, hi, this is Glenda from Cash App. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yes, hi, um, I am attempting to process a transfer here to Cash App account KF451. Um, it just got uh, flagged by one of our uh, fraud prevention specialist um, machine computers. Um, we just need to verify a few pieces of information. Um, can you let me know your full name on the account, please? Kayla Freeman. Can you spell it? K-A-Y. L-A-F-R-E-M-A-N. And what is the nature of the transaction? You said what? Uh, the nature of the transaction, or is it for uh, some kind of product or service? Uh, I just have to put this in the computer. Uh, no, somebody who just sent it to me. Oh, it's just like a friend-to-friend -friend transfer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you know this person? Is he a close friend? Yeah. Oh, Okay. Um, and would you like this money to be processed immediately uh, for an extra dollar fee, or would you like it to take 24 to 48 hours and for a free transfer? Uh, you could do the, the dollar fee. Oh, the dollar fee, and it comes right away? Mm hmm Okay. Is this a, a normal thing that you do uh, for people on Plenty of Fish? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So you go on Plenty of Fish and you just seek out uh, singles looking for love and try to get them to pay you for sex, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. How does that work out for you? Good. Yeah? That's not really you in the picture, is it? Unbelievable. I'd like to spend some more time talking about the suicide attempt. Okay. That's when everything took a really, really dark turn. This just took an evil twist. I am disclosing this willingly. I... <sighs> Take your time. Um, we had friend 
friends of the family over. I always sit at the same place during dinner. We have a, a bar area, and I sit on the outside of the bar on the left side. We have bar stools. I sit there, I have my meal, I clean up the kitchen, and I, I, I want to say I sat there a little bit longer than I usually would. Because I knew, man, is this really going to be the last time I see these guys? As the night progressed, I left at around 8.30, I want to say. Once dinner was over, they were in the living room portion of the house. I went and took my dad's 9mm off of his nightstand. I took the 9mm, I tucked it into my waistband. It had a um, holster with it. So I took the holster and the gun, placed it in my waistband, and I left through this window, actually. And I walked down to the Dublin Park, right at the end of my street. And I just... This is, this is when, this is time. The walk down there, I don't remember. You know, I, I walked around, I looked at things. Um, I even remember touching the side of the building with my right hand. Because I didn't want it to stop. But once I was there, the park was ab abnormally warm and calm. It was so quiet, peaceful. I've already been through a lot. It can't get too much worse. So I just, I raised the gun to my head and I pulled the trigger and it was a full pull. And I thought, okay, maybe it hang fire, maybe this, maybe that. Like if this was a sign, if this was just stop, stop, stop. There were so many times to stop. Why didn't I stop this time? And then when I chambered the round, and raised it in the action of moving it up to my head I was so stressed out that my hand pulled right about here I want to say as I, I thought I had been shot in the chest and in fact I had the bullet went through right here, exited here, entered right here, and was later removed down here. All I remember is a really loud noise and the warmth of blood leaving me. I heard the sound, everything goes into slow motion and something like this happens. I turned and just fell on my left side, the side that the bullet was in. I was covering my chest with my right hand. And I heard some familiar voices across the street. This is about 200 yards away. I heard the voices once, uh, once my ears stopped ringing from the gunshot and I walked over to them. First, they didn't know I was, I was, I was, I was serious, I was real. And then everything just stopped. They stopped everything they were doing and I just collapsed right on their, their driveway, right behind their truck. The man that was there, I guess he was the dad. He took total control of the scene. He initially dialed 911. He, he told them we needed an ambulance. We needed it very soon as I was losing a lot of blood. I think that dad, or that man, was my life. Because had they not been out that night, I likely would have bled to death. He was getting his, his kids, of all people, to get towels. 
to put compression on me. He confirmed, son, you've been shot in your arm. He, he asked me, where's the shooter, where's the shooter? I told him I am the shooter, and that's when I saw his eyes just light up. Like, oh my God. Sir, if you're watching this, I'm deeply, deeply sorry what I put your family through that night. But you saved my life, and I owe you my life for that. In the ambulance, I was, I, I, I was given a shot of morphine because I was in so much pain after that adrenaline wore off. Everything just went numb. I was held on a 72 hour psych hold because of a suicide attempt. The PA kind of made a joke, hey son, you got a nine millimeter nipple ring right now. Forty-four a.m. Tuesday, October twentieth. We had a date set for nine thirty. Uh, nothing, no reply. I've texted her four times. Um, her four times asking if she's there, if we can talk. Nothing yet. I'm gonna use spoof card and call the number from a different number, like a random number, just to see if anyone answers. You know, if it's a dude's voice or something. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to... Oh, they got one of those Google Voice screeners. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Hi, my name is Steve. I'm calling from PayPal. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. So now I'm going to call from the, my number that she's been texting me on to see if she'll answer. Hello, please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Yeah, yeah, hi, it's Ryan. <laughs> Fuck, I wouldn't answer that. Jeez. Recording, streaming. I'm streaming right now. There's 367 people watching. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. My name's Ryan, I love Ariana, and, um, and yeah, uh, sexy.
I just texted her to say, call me now. I just got a text from another number that says, hi. She did say she was gonna borrow a friend's phone to call me. Okay, I'm saying, who, hi, who is this? I just wanna make sure, because I use this number for a lot of scam baiting, so I don't know. I wanna make absolutely sure it's her. <clears throat> Sexy. Sexy, but he's Ryan, so it's like, you know, <laughs> you know, okay. Um, she wants eBay gift cards so that she can fix her phone so we can video chat. She told me she's gonna call me right now because I, I told her I wanna hear your voice before I send you money. Um, so she said, okay, I'll borrow my friend's phone and call you. Okay, I got a message on the second number. She said, someone wants to use my phone to call you. Actually, someone want to use my phone. Same broken English. Okay, they can call. She's, she's trying to like build the story up that it's her friend's phone. Aren't catfish in the ocean? Like, isn't that the type of fish, right? Yeah. And this is plenty of fish. Oh, she's calling me. There's some, that's a different number though. Let me answer it. Hello? Hello? Hi, who is this? Hello, you told me to call you. Is this Ariana? Yeah. Hey, how are you? It's Ryan. I'm good, Rosie. Ariana, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I've really enjoyed talking to you lately. You're, you you seem really sweet. Wow, that's lovely. I, I borrowed my friend from the card when you say you want to hear my friend. What? I borrowed my friend from the call you when you say you want to hear my voice. Yeah, so you broke your phone, right? Is that what the problem was? Yeah. How did you break your phone, you silly goose? Um, I getting me the money to fix my phone so I can call you my own phone. I just really wanted to talk to you. Oh, you sound, you you're such a sweetheart. Oh, that lovely. Thanks, darling. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I don't usually do this. This is so, like, exciting. You know, I told you I put my friend to call you, so I need to give my phone back. Oh, I know, but I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to, I wanted to get to know you a little bit more. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Okay. Who's your friend? I just know her around the my area. Ariana, you gotta talk a little slower, hon. I'm having a hard time understanding you. I, yeah. but, but I love you. I love you too. Um, so when can we video chat? Have a little, uh, a little cyber jiggy. I can do it now. You can or you can't? Ariana. I told you I borrowed my, I told you I my friend's phone so I can do video chatting. Oh, okay. Is there is there a, is there someone next to you? Is that a guy I heard? Uh, well, you get me the money, I'll fix my own phone and call you on video. Oh, that would be great. I would love to. Um, yeah, we can like we can like get to know each other on like a more intimate level. All right, baby. All right, baby. Well, who's that man next to you? Or you're you're not uh, like you're not like. Uh... She hung up. Dude, he totally just grabbed some woman and said, be Ariana and talk to this fucking guy. Yeah, he did. I, you could hear the guy talking. Yeah, there was such a pause. Yeah, as if like he, he was giving her the answers. Let me call it back. Wow. Let me see if I can get him on the phone. Chances are she will text me on her original number and say, okay, send me the money because that was part of the agreement. Mm -hmm. um, she, I know she wants gift cards, but originally we had agreed on PayPal. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting texts from her original number now. This is gonna get uh, interesting. Okay, she said, hello, don't call me on her phone again. I beg her to borrow just to call you to prove myself and have did all I could to prove myself. It's your turn now to get me the 200 to fix my phone so that we can know more about each other. Oh my god. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. We originally agreed on PayPal. I will call this number. I'm gonna tell her that I put the charge through, but that PayPal needs to verify it. And then I'm gonna call as PayPal and see if they answer the phone as the same person. And uh, what's funny is the name in the Gmail that is for the PayPal address, his name is Clarissa. Wow. It's not even Ariana. Okay, I'll say, yeah, I tried sending it again. They need to call and verify it. Hello, please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Steven from PayPal Verification. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Okay, she just texted me back from that and said, I said my phone can't make a call. Why are you stressing my life? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's a dig. I'm stre not st I'm not stressing her day. I'm stressing her life. Okay, she said, I borrowed someone's phone just to call you now, so what else do you want me to do? See, if you don't have anything to give me, don't stress my life again. Oh my god, in the same day! I told you to go to the store and get eBay gift cards, that would be easier. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep going. She really, she's desperate. <laughs> Even if she did get the $200 with as much time as I've wasted, she'd only be getting like $5 an hour. <laughs> so. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm sorry? This is Steven from PayPal. Is anyone there? Hello? Was that a call center? It's a dude with a hold tone. He probably does multiple scams. He's probably an Amazon scammer by day and a plenty of fish scammer by night. The fucking asshole. Scamming, literal scamming whore. She just texted and said, tell them to call back. So she's texting me on her number, apparently immediately knowing that her friend's number just got a call from PayPal. Oh, he's, not even being smart he's so about stupid! It. That's why I want to ask him all these questions. All right, here we go. This is going to be good. Hello, is anyone there? Hello? Yes, hello. Hi, who is this? This is Steven from PayPal Verification. Yeah. Hello, I can't hear you. Is anyone there? Hello. Who is this? Hello, is there an adult in the house? This is Steven. With PayPal verification? Hello? Uh, I need someone to acknowledge this or I'll have to reject the payment. Okay, I'm just muting myself. She just texted me. See the person asking... See the person asking who is this? And I didn't hear what he is saying okay. That's word for word what she just texted me. Okay, let me... Hello, this is Steven from PayPal. Hello. Hello. She just texted me again. I'm still on the call. Oh, plenty of fish. Caddy2020001 likes you. I'm not even kidding. I just got that notification. I'm not the owner of the phone, and my phone can't fucking receive calls, so don't stress me, please. <laughs> Is anybody there? This is Steven from PayPal Fraud Department. Hello? Just hung up. This is fucking weird, dude. This is so bizarre. That was a fucking child. That was a child. That's that funny. wasn't the same woman I talked to. No. That, that was, was a child. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna reply. I'm not trying to stress you, baby. Okay, she just replied. Nothing like verifying okay. That doesn't make any sense. Just go to store. Don't send anything to PayPal anymore. <laughs> I said, the owner of the phone have left me. And then she said, and my phone can't fucking received. You're making this so difficult, honey. I'll soften it. She says, you are the one that making it difficult. Have received money from my PayPal severally. No one had ever called me for verify. Well, then why did you answer three times? <laughs> she said, I can't answer call. Are you deaf? <laughs> I told you yesterday to go to the store and get card. 
And you said yet today, again, you said you will go in a bit. So why imposing PayPal now? Oh, she's on to me. This stress is too much. How much do you want to give me that you making my life difficult? If I could answer phone, I won't ask you for any help. Go to store and get me any gift card. Any amount you could afford. You are unfortunate man. <laughs> Damn. Ouch. That's, it? That's all she said. <laughs> See, I don't need anything again. Just leave my life alone. The fact that I almost killed myself over a scam, that alone pisses me off. So after the 72 hours, I get home, I get another text from this person saying, okay, we left us with no other option but to proceed with whatever. And then I said, you know, I just can't take this anymore. I took the, that message to my dad showed him that message. He calls the number, said, who the hell are you? Why are you texting my son? It was at that moment that I knew it was all, it was all a hoax. The person who claimed was in Colorado was actually in Idaho. They could not provide an adequate badge ID the officer they were pretending to be we actually ended up calling our local police department and he picked up the phone. The real person. So it was apparent to them that they had an officer, uh, someone out there pretending to be them. And turns out he was getting ready to retire. So there was nothing to this. The only people I saw in the hospital was my friend Austin his family he came to me in tears for obvious reasons and it was that moment that I told him never again never again we hugged we cried I didn't see him again until gosh last month he came over and we played some cards we just passed the time like normal friends we're here for a reason. We all are. But in only due time, you cannot take that time in your hands. If you just stop and think and reevaluate your life, you find purpose, you find a meaning. That's something I didn't know at the time. For $2,000, you'd be willing to put anybody through the amount of stress and pressure that they just want to blow their, blow their brains out, that's that's not right. To the anybody who's dealing or struggling with depression, there's always hope. Hope is something you cannot let go of. If you let go of hope, you give in to hate. Never give in, never let go, keep fighting. You know, you can always be sad tomorrow. That's what I keep telling, my, telling myself. You can be upset tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, tell it to, tell it to yourself again. 